fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up my wishes kit. Now I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different this time and we'll see how I like it. If you follow the channel you know that I almost typically almost always kit up my drills in DMC number except for a couple of instances and that is when I'm using my Elizabeth Ward trays which is a lot of times my diamond art clubs, but could also be other larger kits. I don't typically put everything in exact DMC number because when I kit these up, I will kit up based on the number of drills. So for instance, if I have three bags of 310 or something, it might go in the extra large size container versus something like this where I don't have very many drills and it will go in the smallest container. Since I already kind of don't kit up by DMC, I figured maybe this would be the easiest for me. I have some mental block in my mind about not kidding up in DMC. And so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna kit up by color and I'm gonna see how it goes. So I have kind of sort of tried to separate these not by DMC, but by color. And I'm just gonna see what happens. I don't know what my tray is gonna look like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this process. One thing I've already noticed is I kind of wasn't really sure how to separate colors. So like I have whites and peaches here. I've got light purples, medium purples, dark purples, and then I've got very light pinks. But then these are kind of pinky purples. So I set them off to the side and then I've got some darker pink pinky purples. And then I've got pinks all the way to a red, to a very, very dark red kind of together. And then I've got light blues, dark blues, etc. I'm interested to see how my tray turns out. I think it's going to make my tray pretty, but I don't really know how I want to do some of these colors. Like I said, these are kind of purpley pinks, but they're pinks. They're not purple. So I didn't want to put them with the light purples, but they don't really go with the dark pinks, or maybe they do. Maybe that's what I need to do, like light pink to dark pink, and then these are all reds. But are these reds? See, I feel like these are more pink than red. I don't know, I'll get there. So maybe I'll kit up the purples and the blues first, because those were a lot easier. So that's the plan, which means I'm gonna have to pay super close attention to my stickers because I don't want them to get out of order or put them on the wrong thing or whatever. Now, these are Diamond Art Club. This is at least a new enough kit that the stickers are pre-cut. So I'm gonna take a guess that they're pretty removable. So I'm, I don't, my Elizabeth Ward that has the washi tape on it is currently being used. My bottle case that has the washi tape on it is currently being used. So I'm just gonna take the chance. I have to get out my goo gone, whatever. So that's the plan. Once I have everything kitted up and I actually start working on the canvas, I'll report back on how I feel about kitting up by color. When I did my first Diamond Painting Deutschland, my Diana, there were a bunch of people who said, because it had 250 colors, that I should kit up by color. I didn't, and it was fine. My second Josephine wall, which I'm currently working on, I also kitted up by DMC, not by color or symbol, and it seems to be working okay. So I'm gonna kit up based on not the DMC and see how it goes. Maybe once I kit up by color, I'll see. Cause the other thing people do is kit up by symbols and put symbols together. So like all the numbers would be together, et cetera, et cetera. Except I don't think I'm gonna do that with this one. I think this will be enough of a trial and then maybe another kit I'll do it by symbol. So I'm gonna do this by color. We'll see how it goes. So I've got my Elizabeth Ward funnel here. I've got my drills where I'm gonna start. Let me grab my scissors and I'm just going to start. Okay, so 141 is going to go in a small container. So uh, let me find sticker 141 and then I can start kitting up the drills. Let's see, crossing my fingers, I don't have a bunch of static in these. It looks like it has all the holes punched in the drills or in the bags, which somebody told me once upon a time was because that's supposed to help with static. I don't know if that's true, but we'll see. All right, 819, 
I think I want to do this one next. And this one has enough drills. I think I'm going to put it in this one. See, this is going to be weird as well because doing it by color, because I typically keep like all of the very small containers together, as well as keeping them kind of in the, the way that they came in the tray. Maybe I could have got all of those into a small one, but that's okay. All right, and then 819 can definitely go in a small one. Does anybody place their stickers with tweezers? I've seen some people do it on like Instagram and stuff, but I always feel like that's just an extra step with a tool that I don't need to take. My fingers work fine, but maybe that's just me. So far, no static, so that's good. I'm appreciating that. All right, so that's the lightest color. Now, do I wanna go to light purples or do I wanna go to pinks? I think I'm gonna do the light purples first and then I'll work my way into the dark purples. So here's my lightest purples. I also probably at some point am going to get ABs out to use when I get to that point, but I don't know when that will be, so. All right, so definitely my second AB here can go in this small container. Hopefully I don't need more small containers than I have. Okay, so there's that one. Then these two, I feel like definitely this one will take this size, and maybe I'll just do this one in this size as well, even though it might not need it. And then I'll get into the next darker ones. Okay, so 210 and 211. I also don't usually cut these up by the number, like Diamond Art Club will number them one through 35. I don't generally kit up that way either. I know for some people it reduces confusion and things, but I don't know, for me, I don't mind doing it differently each time. I enjoy the process. This is the part, well, a part of diamond painting that I find appealing because you're taking all of this kind of mess with all the drills and organizing it, which I find enjoyable. A couple of escapees there. Got ahead of myself and almost spilled. I probably could have used a smaller a smaller case container on that one, but whatever. All right, then the next colors of purple are these. So how do I want to, kind of going from light to dark here. All right, how do I want to, this one can definitely go in a small one, I bet. Maybe I'll have to kit some of these up all in different ways. Maybe one kit I'll do one through 35 in the numbers as they appear on the stickers. And then maybe I'll do another one where I do it by the symbol. This one has a little bit of static. All right. So they're sticking to the bottom of my funnel here. Okay, I think I picked up all of my spares, strays, but you can see, obviously, still some static in there. All right, 209. I think this will make for an interesting tray when I'm done. We'll see how good I am at doing like gradients and making all the colors look cool. All right, that one was not staticky as much. A couple of drills stuck on there. Okay. Do I need a large one for this one? Probably not, so I'll use a small one here. That's 155. This is gonna be the hard part, remembering to put the stickers on. All right, so there's that one. That one's obviously got a little bit of static as well. And then 208, I think I'm gonna stick in this size. And then I'll move on to the next kind of purples that I have. Okay, so there's all of those. That one didn't look like it had any static. Come off of there, okay. All right, so my first row in my tray is done. So now I have these purples. So how do I wanna do these? 
Okay, I think in this order, and then I've got a couple of dark purples after that. Let's see. See, I think all of these could probably go in smaller ones, but I don't want to use up all of my small ones because I still have quite a few that are going to need the smaller containers. All right, let me clear some stuff off and move things around a little bit. All right, I've got the stickers on these so I can put the drills in here. These may be bigger size containers than I need, but like I said, I'm gonna save the smaller ones. We'll see what this ends up looking like in my tray. There's only 35 colors in this kit. So I'm gonna have plenty of containers. This may be not the perfect size, which is okay. All right, just making sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of my funnel there. All right, and then I have two of the very, very dark purples, which will also go in this size container. So I've got this one and this one. So let me get those stickers. I think so far that's the weirdest part is getting the stickers off not in order. Because I typically just kind of go down the list and then I'm just making decisions based on what size container I'm going to use. So we'll see how this works out. Like I said, I'm always up for kind of trying new things and seeing how this is going to work. Since for the most part, when I'm using my Elizabeth Ward trays, especially with D, um, Diamond Art Club, I don't, I, I diamond paint by symbol. I don't diamond paint by DMC. So I don't know why I get so hung up on I have to kit everything up via DMC. Because I don't. But I guess that's just how my brain works. Okay, so that's all the purples. Then I think I'm going to do the blues next because that seems easiest. And also some of them are going to go in the very small containers. So let me just, then I'll get those used up and see where I'm at. All right, 33.25 and then 37.55. That one was at the end, so that one was easy to get off. So we get all these stickers on here. Woo, that's way too crooked. Never gonna be able to live with that. I wasn't stuck on there good anyway. All right, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. All right. I think I just need to invest in some more of these smaller Elizabeth Ward containers because I just end up using them more often than I think I'm going to. But it's all good. Even if I put the drills in a container that's slightly larger than I actually need for the drills, it's not that big a deal. Just my type A personality coming through and wanting to make sure that I'm putting everything in appropriately sized containers. It's not like the drills care, right? Ooh, this one has a little bit of static. Okay, that one definitely has some static in it. Ugh. All right, so then I've got these two and these two, and then I'll be done with the dark blues. So definitely these two and this one need the smallest one, and then this one I will put in that one. All right, so 312. Whoops, I almost lost that sticker. 312. Let's hope the rest of these are not super staticky. That one didn't seem to be. There's one escapee. All right. Then I need number 803. That is this sticker. All right. Don't know if I realized there were going to be so many dark blues in this color. I mean, I guess I should have. It's very close to purple. OK, 
Okay, I did 939. It's also kind of hard to tell when you're getting close to being halfway or anything since you're not really kind of going down the list to tell what's what. Not very many 939s. All right, so I'm starting my third row in the tray. I'm going to have a lot of space left, which is fine. Definitely going to be hunting up some ABs, I think, to go in this since it's just got the two. I know I have 208, 209, 210, 211, some, some of those. Not sure which ones, but some of those I have. Okay, so what I have left now is peaches, pinks, reds, and kind of pinky purples. So I think I'm going to start with these first. So you can see I've got like this peach color. So this one definitely can go in here. These two, I think, will go in these sizes. All right, so 963, need that sticker. And then I need 3706, let's stand through towards the bottom. And then 3708. Or maybe I won't add any extra ABs. I was just thinking the other day, I bought all of that mica powder because it just kind of came in one, one package. I mean, there was one size. And I did my little mica powder experiment with trying to, to disguise the gapping, but I haven't really used it since then. And since the fairy dust drills are basically drills that have mica powder on top of them, the mica powder is mixed in with the resin of the drill, so it's not like loose mica powder. But I was actually thinking, I wonder if I could just take my mica powder, because I have white and black, but take my white mica powder and just kind of dust it over everything. Not only would it help with the gapping, but instead of wiping it off, just leave it over the top and then seal the diamond painting to kind of seal the mica powder so that it wouldn't get everywhere. I wonder what that would look like. That might be an interesting experiment. All right, these obviously have some static. Those did not want to come out of the bag. I can see them sticking onto the end of the funnel here. Whoops. All right, so obviously, ooh, look at that. I need to go get, <laughs> that's a lot of static in that one, but that's okay. I'll get out my static spray at some point. All right, now let's move into the kind of more reds. And these, let's see. There we go. I think that's the color order I want them in. Now 602 obviously can go in this small one. This is my last small container. So I may go grab some more small ones out of my other Elizabeth Ward trays. Because it just seems silly for these to waste a bigger container when it's not even going to fill up one of these small ones. So I'm gonna go get some, some more of the small ones. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got some more of the smaller ones here. So let me see, 601 and then 321. Let me get both of those stuck on there. I'm getting, getting close to being done. I don't have very many stickers left. All right. I like it when there's not a lot of static. That's nice. Okay, and then 321, trying to make sure that I'm putting these all in the right place so that I don't mix any of my drills up because that would be bad. All right, then 915 and 154. And then the colors that I have left are kind of the pinky purples. So we'll see what it looks like once I get these all put in my tray if I want to do any kind of rearranging just for color gradient purposes. All right, there's that one. And then 154. I don't know if 
this makes me feel like I'm a little more on my toes, keeping track of what colors are what than the way I normally do it. But all right, so here are here are the colors I have left. So I want to start with the lightest ones, obviously, which I'm pretty sure that one 3609 is going to need the biggest size. So let me put not the biggest size, but a bigger size than all these other ones. Because this bag is pretty full. All right, did they all go in there? Okay, pretty close, but I think so. I have one escapee. I thought I'd lost one, but okay. So that one's pretty full, but that's okay. All right, now I think these all could maybe go in this size, but I think I'm going to save that one for that one. And then the rest of these can have that size. All right, so 3608. I'm really liking how my tree is looking so far, though. I'm going to do an ASMR video for me pouring all of these drills in here. I just love that sound. All right, and then 3607 is this one. And 718 is my small container here. Yeah, I need to diamond paint not diamond paint. I need to organize by symbol, I think, at some point, too, just to try that out as well. Need to try something new. I can't wait to get started on this kit, though. I didn't think that I would really like the colors. Now, for this one, because these are the containers I have left, I'm just going to put it in this one, even though I know it's way too big. I just don't want to take the time to go hunt up any more of the appropriate size, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to put them in here because this is my last bag of drills. It's going to be way too many, way too big of a container for all of the drills, and that's okay. All right. Yeah, didn't need that one at all, but it all works. Okay. All right, let me move these out of the way because I don't need these anymore. Okay, I cut off the excess where the extra stickers are because I don't keep those. I've just got this so that I have the name, who the artist is, all the info, and then I will stick it underneath my tray. And look at this gorgeous tray. Now, it's mostly empty, I get that, but where it is, I actually really like how this looks with my kind of lights, whites, light purples, darker purples, my light blues all the way to my dark blues, and then I've got these kind of peachy pinks all the way to a very dark, almost black purple, and then I've got all my kind of purpley pinks here. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on this kit. I think she's going to be super cute when she's done. I'm still probably going to go hunt up some ABs to add in here or there just to add some extra bling to it. You guys will have to let me know what you think. How do you normally kit up? Is it by DMC? Is it by the number that they give you? Is it by symbol? Is it by color? How do you usually do it? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.